Today is July 4th, 2024. And I am making the decision to follow Jesus Christ. I just turned 33 years old uh, on June 29th. So what, last week? And a little backstory. I was baptized at a young age. I think it was about 12 years old. And of course, you know, as many of us, you start off in church, you go to church, you're in a church choir, you know, you're trying to live life for God and things like that. But at some point I went off and indulged in the pleasures of the world. And after years, 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 years of living for pleasure, alcohol, edibles, vape pens, fornication, adult media content, I've come to the realization that none of it works. None of it brings true joy. Does it feel good? Absolutely. Does it feel great? Absolutely. But that's the thing. It feels good to our flesh, but our soul is still dry. We pleasure ourselves and still find ourselves unsatisfied. And I'm starting to think that that void that we try to fill with all these earthly possessions and pleasure and et cetera, that it can only be filled by something eternal. And that has to be God. And that has to be Jesus Christ. I don't believe there's any other way. I'm someone who's tried new age, self-help books, all of it. It doesn't work. I don't know what's to come from this decision. Because I made a video a few months ago. It was in uh, October of last year. Uh, it was after my grandmother passed away. And I made a video where I talked about accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And in the moment, I believed it. <laughs> But, of course, I backslid and still just trying to do my own thing, trying to figure it out on my own, thinking I could do it myself, allowing my pride to drag me down, drag me to the pits of hell. But for some reason, by the grace of God alone, I am still here. Like, I've essentially had a death wish all these years, wishing death on myself. Wishing someone would just take me out. Thoughts of self-harm. And regardless of how much of the world I indulged in, it never truly satisfied my soul. So I'm choosing today to follow Christ. Because he said, if any man, not some man, not some man, any man come after me, let him pick up his cross, deny himself, and follow him, follow Jesus Christ. I don't know where that's going to take me. At this point, I have to count the costs and really ask myself, what do I really want? The pain of change and transformation or the pain of regret? Because regardless, you're going to have to deal with some type of pain in this life. No one gets out of this life unscathed. If Christ suffered, what makes you think you won't? I'm not saying it's all about suffering. I'm just saying at some point, all of us are going to have to deal with some type of trial or tribulation.
but I'd rather do, I'd rather go through it with God than without God. Because I know what it's like to go, go through it without God. And it's not pretty. I'm going to trust that God knows better than me. I also think it's interesting that I just turned 33 and that's seven years till 40. And, uh, you know, I think about like the children of Israel. They were in the wilderness for 40 years. And so now I'm thinking, man, where do I want to be in seven years? Like <laughs> Seven years from now, where do I want to be? Even that's significant, right? Like the number seven, even that's significant. But regardless, um, I made this video. Maybe it'll, maybe this video will inspire you. I'm going to just document the journey. I have no idea what's going to happen. But uh, I look forward to it. I tried every other way. Now it's time. I've, I've tried every other way. Now it's time to try Yahweh. My way doesn't work. It doesn't. My will does not work. So I have no choice but to submit to the will of God. I've seen him deliver other people. I'm just hoping he does the same for me. Because this life is not sustainable. I just want it all to mean something. So that's the video for today. Like, comment, subscribe. If you want to tithe and subscribe, my cash app is in the description. It's greatly appreciated. Even if you don't, it's fine. I still appreciate your time. My name is Ken Talk, and I'm just sharing my thoughts. Peace.